Hi, good evening. I'm Gene Lopez, and as many of you may know, I am a member of the Community Committee on Ethnic Studies. And so I'm, that's what I'm kind of coming here to you about. So we had some homework. We left our first meeting um, a few weeks ago, and we had some homework. And that was to read Chapter 3 of the Model Curriculum. And, and I had already reviewed it, and, and I looked at most of the 54 pages of, of chapter, chapter 3. But, you know, I didn't look at the background. And in these documents, there's a lot of background. There's a lot of footnotes. And one of them, if I can read to you, um, was based on the purpose of the model curriculum. And the purpose of the model curriculum is it's essential that ethnic studies educators first reflect upon the purpose of the field and the specific course at hand before arriving at their, and I had a hard time with this word, pedag pedagogical approach. Um, and, and, it, and it goes on and it talks about um, the ethnic studies are centered on three core concepts, access, relevance, and community. And then there's a footnote. So I went and looked at this footnote. And um, it says um, that this author um, looked toward an ethnic studies pedagogy and the implications for K-12 schools from the research of the Urban Review, Volume 47, Number 1, dated March 12, 2015. So this is seven, seven years ago. And here's what struck me, and you can agree with these, and, and I, I don't necessarily, but um, in this issue, there are 12, excuse me, there are six articles. The first one is titled, Shifting the Center in Teacher Education, an Introduction to the Special Issue on Critical Race Theory in Teacher Education. The second article is Race, Isolation, and Exclusion. What early childhood teacher educators need to know about the experiences of pre-service teachers of color. The third article is teacher education and funding, excuse me, and the enduring significance of false empathy. I, I don't know what that would be. I mean, if you're going to be empathetic, um, so I got to go look at that article, right? The number four is whiteness as property, innocence, and ability in teacher education. It's got to have you concerned, or at least thinking about what was going on. What what are in these articles? Yes. Number five was on being named a black supremacist and a race traitor. So you get that. I'd like to continue to come here from time to, or, or, to be a little more transparent. I know I'm out of time, but I'm going to see this walking away. I hope that each of you would consider dropping in at our committee meetings for just a little while, or at least get um, the minutes of the meeting so you can review what we've got going on. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Lowe.